Yes, sir. I hope that comes out right. Malo Lede, that's hello in Tongan. And a very good afternoon. It is great to be here among our Crew Prosperity Coalition family. It makes the 40 hour travel time to be here with you worth it. <laughs> Tonga is the incoming chair of the 53rd Pacific Islands Forum and the leaders meeting in Nukualofa in the last week of August. The theme for this year's meeting is Transformative Resilient Pacific, Building Better Now. And it's giving us a critical, unique responsibility to steer development aspirations of the entire Blue Pacific continent. We are a small island, but a large ocean state. 99% of Tonga is ocean, which is why it is critical to see the connection between people, planet, and profit systems that underpin our security and livelihoods, and also to govern and manage it effectively for a sustainable future for the Blue Pacific. Sustainability is at the heart of blue prosperity, and we are increasingly challenged to do more with less. Working smarter and not harder. We recognize deep linkages between blue and green economies and managing it in a holistic, holistic way or integrated and simplified way from the land to the high seas. Tonga has made great strides to achieve our 30 by 30 marine protected area target under the SDG 14 and 100% sustainably managed areas. This is part of Tonga's marine special planning and integrated ocean management efforts to make to have a resilient ocean and a resilient communities. And consistent with the Unlocking Blue Pacific Prosperity that was launched, as mentioned, by the President of Palau. However, this is only the beginning. We need to also be able to ensure there is meaningful monitoring and enforcement and the capacity to measure effectiveness of the plan and implementation. I had a, a good meeting with Ted, whereby we, we outlined some of the challenges that we have in the Pacific. For example, in maritime security, we have an issue with people coming in and actually taking tuners and what have you from our oceans. So in order to actually enforce our marine protected area, it, it's, it's going to take a lot, which is one of the reasons why we're here to actually talk, how can we cooperate, how can we coordinate to actually enforce and patrol this huge area. In January this year, we joined Palau in signing the BPNJ agreement, and we will move swiftly to ratification. You may ask why? Well, because we see the conversion of the blue and green economy will be harnessed by this new BPNJ agreement. This is critical in areas such as climate change, mitigation through the development of renewable energies on the high seas, the decarbonization of the maritime sector, the greening of the ports, among others. We encourage others to sign and verify and ratify the BBNJ agreement. Envisioning and managing the blue and green economy for a resilient and sustainable future, Tonga have done a number of things, including developing the Tonga Ocean Management Plan for implementation, starting the national ocean policy, and putting into the passage of the uh, legislative framework the Tonga Ocean Management Bill and consulting on our 2035 national blue econo economy strategy amongst different sectors, including fisheries, tourism, maritime transport, and ports. Tonga also look forward to starting an ocean trust fund to support implementation and coordination. We'd like to actually acknowledge the assistance of TED and the Wade Foundation and Institute in developing this key initiative for the Pacific and also specifically for Tonga. We will also focus on awareness, education, and capacity building to ensure that everyone can be engaged effectively, right from a community to the cabinet. My fellow Our Ocean friends, Dead Weight and the Weight Institute and Foundation, and our partners, thank you. And I hope to actually see you in Tonga for the Pacific Leaders Meeting on the 26th to the 30th of August 
where we need to actually contribute to ensure the well-being of our ocean. Thank you very much.